everyone, it's Brittany with Tennessee National Wildlife Refuge and today we have a really fun experiment planned for you. It's called the Human Sundial Experiment. Uh, with this activity, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need a tape measure. You're going to need a piece of sidewalk chalk. You're going to need a pen. You're going to need a nature journal. Now this activity, this experiment requires at least two people, whether that be a child, an adult, or two kids. Um, but you're going to need two of them. And then you're also going to need a big area of concrete or asphalt that you can use throughout the day. Now when you choose this location, you need to make sure that no other shadows will be on that spot throughout the day. So no buildings or trees, shrubs, any of that, uh, no shadows can be blocking it because you're going to need all of this space throughout the day. So the way it works is you're going to stand in the center of that spot and you're going to draw an X with your sidewalk chalk. Now one person will be the person who stands on that X every time you do this experiment throughout the day. And the other person is going to be tracing the shadow of the person standing on the X. Now you're going to do this periodically throughout the day. Uh, two hour interval intervals would be great. You want to start early in the morning and you want to finish late in the evening. And you want to do that in those two hour intervals. So in this experiment, you're getting to learn about shadows. Now shadows are pretty cool because they are made when the light is coming down and a solid object gets in between that light, it creates a shadow. The light is going to continue to go around it, but it cannot go through and that creates the shadow. And then uh, in this lesson, in this experiment, you're learning how the earth rotates on its axis. That it's not the sun that is moving across the earth, that it's the earth spinning around in a 24 hour period and that sun comes back every day because we continue to spin around and around. Uh, you can expand this project uh, and you can do it throughout the year. Uh, if you do it at certain times of the year, say the summer and winter uh, solstice and the fall and spring equinox, uh, then the child is going to learn how the sun is, or the earth is rotating around the sun. So it's a pretty cool experiment and we're going to dive on in and I'm going to show you how I did mine um, with a notebook because I couldn't really just record um, my sidewalk truck with just me out here. So here we go. Okay, so I being just me was not able to actually draw myself uh, on the concrete pad. So instead what I did was I drew it from the notebook. And so uh, you can see where I had drawn my X on the concrete and that's where I will stand every time. And then I drew my shadow. And then you wanna take some notes on this. Uh, you wanna record where the sun was. So for me, the sun was behind me and slightly to my right. And it was about 40 degree angle from the ground. Now I did this drawing uh, at 10 a.m. and my shadow length was about 52 and a quarter inches long and it was just slightly shorter than my average height, um, but it was about the same width. So those are the kinds of things that you're gonna wanna record as you're doing your sundial experiment. But this is a lot of fun. Uh, you can ask questions like, well, where do you think your shadow will be next? Do you think we'll be over here or over here? Will it be uh, tall and skinny or short and fat? Um, so you can do all of those cool things and you're just going to keep adding to this drawing wherever the shadow is going to be next. So I hope you enjoy today's daily activity and I will see you next time for our next one. So have a great day everyone. See you next time.